This game has 50 Steam reviews. It is the most unknown game of all time, and it makes Starfield look like a game demo. That's dude. The first two games, Boiling Point, was the best game I ever played in my life. The second game, White Gold, was even better. And now this is the Vital 5 engine. Um, uh, White Gold was the Vital 3 engine. So, this thing just landed from space. Apparently, you could fly to different planets. You, there's like different vehicles, mechs, there's uh, deep water, it's just like the most open world game of all time with hundreds of quests. And I am just so stoked. Alright, first things first. Ambient occlusion, baby. Oh no. It's not working. It just like tried to work and didn't work. Oh, it works. Okay. Alright, phew. I thought it like blinked, which means that it wasn't compatible. Okay. So that means the game has depth buffer access. But why is it so horrible? Why is it only right in the center of the screen? Is it this? Uh oh. Maybe it doesn't work. It understands the depth. Hold on, hold on. Okay, well. It's just missing some things. Okay, this is why. Wait a minute. Okay, maybe it does work. It's just not... The best example? Of a scene? Why is it... This? It's so weird. I've never seen... Them. It's super weird. Okay, so now let's see this game's color temperature. Oops color temperature test. This is what you have to do with every game, no matter what. Okay, without even looking at the slider, I'm going to find out which place looks the best, and then I'm going to see what... Okay, so this game doesn't have an issue with its color temperature. If all the colors, like, revealed themselves, that means it had a wrong color temperature. It doesn't. I kind of like a little bit. It's like a little orange by default. The f uh, white gold was like that too. So it might be possible that the game's meant to look more like this. Let's go with minus 10% or minus 12 and just call it even. Um, we could we need to brighten the image a little bit because I turned off bloom and HDR. So the game got a little bit dimmer. Oh my god, that's so much better than Bloom and HDR. We need to turn these all back down to zero. I find it smartest to not click your mouse down on these things. Highlight it and then use your arrows. Okay, so what is the best thing here? Exposure is probably the best. Exposure is pretty nice. Okay. I just want to get a range of when we start losing detail. Okay. Whoa, that's bright. Wow, it's really dim by default. Okay, so this game can afford, like, at least 20%. We'll go with 20%. Man, White Gold was, like, the best game I ever played in my life, man. I have, like... You could see, over the past two months of my life, I've been, like, obsessed. Uploading, like... I've never uploaded that many videos of a game. I enjoyed that game more than I enjoyed Fallout New Vegas. More than I enjoyed any open world shooter story game. All the Far Cry games, easily. It's just longer. It's just a 200 hour game. And it's just got more vehicles. Plain and simple. And the quests aren't formulaic. They're, they're like weird. Dude, this game feels right. This feels nice. And look, this is like an... Look, look, it has an eyeball on it. There's an eyeball on this weapon I'm holding. Dude. Um, the first game and the second game had literally more assets, more graphics, more files than Arma 2 does. And, like, it's basically Arma 2 with 
if Arma 2 had 500 quests and a single player campaign. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm so stoked, man. Yes, the game has a flashlight! <laughs> yeah, baby! Can we prone? Let's try everything from the other games. Yes, we could prone. I'm a little bit sad that we're enclosed right now. I want to get outside. This dude, these guys make the the Vital Engine is the best open world game engine in, in existence, and meeting it for the first time, well, this game looks great. Has been awesome. It has great draw distances. Um, you could have a car on the first island six miles away. Dude, this looks like Outcast, but like newer. Oh look, its textures didn't load until just now. I noticed in the game I and I file this this game had pre-cache equals zero and all the other ones say pre-cache equals one. Look at this game! And the flashlight's better, it's not as bright. Alright, that sounds creepy. I don't want to get drunk right now. In the second game, and the first game, they always want you to get drunk. They always offer you drinks and stuff. But you you start to wobble when you walk, and I don't want to. I don't like that shit. It's funny, I guess, but I don't want to wobble. This is so... This is so them, dude. Okay, good. At least he doesn't just pour it down my throat. Oh, no! This game doesn't have icons of things. The first and the second game had the most adorable icons of things. Like dead seagull, like a bloody dead seagull. Was... Dude, that was like the best part of the game was all the different items. There was like hundreds of items in each game. Ah, oh, they, they got rid of the most best part. Damn them. It's okay. Whoa, look at this. But this was made in 2009, back when, like, we didn't realize that screen shake sucks. There's probably a way to turn that off. Whoa, look at this. These guys make the best game worlds in gaming history. The, the islands in, in white gold were just uh, something to behold. Let's check it out, man. What the fuck? 50 reviews on Steam, dude. Not even, like, I've seen point-and-click games like that are, like, completely fake and, like, made just to sell shit, like have more reviews. When I googled quests in the first two games, the two best games I ever played in my life by the way, um, it took me a month and 200 hours each to beat each. Oh god, this is gonna be like the second game where they say pointless things for no reason. Unless you have a quest, shut the fuck up. Ooh, these textures look better than the second game. The sec- well, there- I mean, some of them are low res. The second game was like high res textures mixed with low res textures, and it was just kind of bad. And this game seems to be the same exact thing, honestly. Like, that's low res. That's okay. But it doesn't matter. They're the best games in the world. They're so fun. Hundreds of quests. Just a game you can live in. Really. So much better than all the recent open world games I've played. So much better than Days Gone. It's a real game. Like, I could spend 200 hours here. No, not 7,000 cutscenes, 7,000 quests. Whoa, this is beautiful, actually. Alright, see, this is a better example. You see how um, SSAO Soft Shadows just makes stuff look lovely? It just like, it's like a really mesmerizing, like, Dark Souls kind of like look. It's like a standard in all 3D games nowadays, so to add it to old games that don't have it is awesome, in my opinion. I love doing that shit. That's interesting, it like flips it. So it's on everything else but the corners. Interesting. Oh, cool, look at that. So that's how the AO shades things. You can kind of get an idea now. You can see the people. 
I'm happy with with my little adjustments. Look, I, let's do it one more time. So off mine. The game regular, my adjustments. The game regular, my adjustments. Let's look at this actually. So the game, um, the game regular, my adjustments. The game regular, my adjustments. I knew right away in the second game that the color temperature was too warm. And um, the same exact issue is in this game. Look, I turn it down 12% and it looks nicer. Like the, like the clouds look white now and the sky looks blue. Nice. Yeah, I made the lighting look better by doing that. Like it looks like the whole game's graphics are better now. Whoa. Dude, this is more their fucking gig, dude. Space games. Th this is... This is so much m more beautiful than even the first game. Wow, holy shit. Look at this game! And I can confirm by playing the first two games. They just- it just puts Bethesda- it just makes Bethesda games look like almost like a happy meal, like... Something for stupid kids, like the way trees and stuff de-render in our games don't doesn't happen in these games. It's like things are just render further away. My car, look at that. That's where we're gonna be playing. This is only one world. We can get in a spaceship and fly to a different one. We I've seen tr uh, clips of some gameplay clips of this game, and they're just like burning out in the dunes with like fucking warthog-looking cars. And Boiling Point and the second game had like 60 different land vehicles, like a dozen different air ve vehicles, like a dozen different boat models. And this game's probably- this game was- okay, the first game was like 2 gigabytes file size. And the second game, the biggest most epic game ever that I played for 200 hours was 3 gigabytes in the Vital Engine. And this game is 6 gigabytes, and this is back in the day when they didn't just- there's no- hundred gigabytes devoted to fucking sound files like this is back in the day when game files were legit so this game's gonna have multiple planets and just glancing at the assets it does it has way more files it's which is crazy so like even before playing I can say that this is crazy because I've already like glanced at at the asset files and there's just more than the first two games and the first two games I was like do these developers have a disease or something wrong with their brain they're putting like four triple A games worth of content into this boiling point and then white gold was the same exact shit they re look at these wires they're electrical oh, that's another cool thing about boiling point the game electrically all made sense like there was wires going to everything and just the way the towns were made in the first two games, man. Oh, I'm in love. This is my new favorite developer of all time. Step aside Bethesda. Step aside CD Projekt Red. Step aside Rockstar Games. Dude, Deep Shadow. Yeah, it's derpy. Yeah, the graphics aren't the best. Yeah, it's not like the highest level of quality polish. But there's just raw content. Just quests that are interesting. Hundreds of different characters. Just every single quest. You could tell a human like actually sat down at a desk and was like, okay, what's the next quest going to be like? You know, they, every single quest is just so wildly different from each other that it's just like you can't, not one quest out of me doing 800 quests over the last two months has reminded me of another quest. Except maybe the ones where I had to deliver cocaine. But even those had a twist in them. Like, there was only like, you know what I'm saying? None of the game's quests were like on a formula system. Alright, we need to see this game. Wow, the water looks great. The Vital Engine 5 has nicer water. That's a plus. I want to go out there, dude. I want to go out into the game world. Let's play, let's play. I thought it said retarded junkie. The first game literally called people retarded and stuff, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. There was a quest called Murder the Indians. And it just said, like, Murder the Greedy Indians. Wow. Oh, and the first game had more clothing items I've ever seen in my life. Like, on all these different characters. Fat NPCs, short NPCs, there was like children, skinny women, like... Bro, these guys, I'm sorry, but these guys make Bethesda look like... Like a group of children that don't know what they're doing. Like a group of amateurs. 
because the quests oh that's another thing you could have like 150 quests active at once and just like bail on one halfway mid through jump out the window and just come back 100 hours later you could even they'll even give you a tank to use for 30 seconds just to go get a fix or something and you get it fixed and then you could use it for the next 200 gameplay hours what the fuck dude this is sick what the fuck i can't even what the fuck it's a girl oh it's a girl bro why play skyrim again for the 30th time when you could play something like this that's literally a better game it's not even like oh let me play this lesser game to like appeal to you know my senses of like being cultured no it's like it's literally better like better like in every way i could write a book about it just further draw distances deeper water better like jumping but like you can bunny hop there's just no invisible walls just fun over lameness oh and another cool thing um you got up dude i'm never gonna forget the time of my life being 34 and discovering boiling point recommended to me by god galaxy thank you god galaxy i have been on the best gaming adventure of my fucking lifetime period plain and simple i love using all these different vehicles dude there's quests that'll give you a vehicle that's in the game nowhere else just for like a 30 second quest and they'll just like give you a vehicle that you've never seen before and i'm like okay i'm totally keeping that i'm never handing this quest in and you could do that oh and you could put like 200 pounds of rifles in the trunk and like basically live out of your car in the second game i used the helicopter for hundreds of hours i just all this stuff was in the back of my trunk in the helicopter look i stepped on the bug and i killed it i killed the bug by stepping on it like, these games are not lazy. They're intuitive. They're so good. I gotta disable that head bob ASAP. That is egregious. This is a high quality video game, people. I can't wait to see this game further. See, like, why are the textures not loading? What's up with that? Whoa, look at that thing. It's a it's a reptile it's a cr whoa what's happening? We're on we're in space, I forgot. There might be like earth, um weather events. Cause in the first game nothing like that ever happened. It actually would take like real twelve life hours for a fucking day night cycle to pass in the first game. It was awesome. And you could change it whenever you wanted by napping in your car. In fact in the first game you had to go in your car to take a nap. Because it was a safe location, because it said something about like Dude, look at this, it's lighting up. This is a, they made real improvements to the game engine. So that's a, a lit texture is what that is. An illuminated texture, I'm sorry. Whoa. I need to turn VSync on, it looks like there's some lines across my shit. Oh, this is the guy where I have to actually, I have to actually speak to this guy. Whoa, people look so different. Like, you would think because they're using the same game engine that they would have some similarities, right? The only thing that's similar is, like, the feel. Like, they remade everything. The guns in the second game were beautiful. Although they were all the same models as the first game, it was still crazy that they remade them all. I already fought a, um, a monster and a couple of aliens in the tutorial. Well, the... The intro to the game. Yeah, something's wrong with this game's textures, man. I don't like that shit. I need to fix that. Although the textures are higher resolution than the second game, even though they're they're low. Like that's a low resolution texture right there, and it's I'm happy about it. That goes to that says a lot about how low res the textures in the second game were. They were like, it was like a blur, but you could tell it was loaded because it was like treated like and sharpened and. Second game had ugly textures, man. I'm sorry. These games have been the best games of my life, but the second game had ugly textures. Good texture variety. Look, I like how these characters are all completely different skeletons. Like, you can tell right away. Even when, like, it's ported to a new game engine, like, if it's a similar skeleton. Like, these are completely different people, different height. Let's observe their guns and shit. Is there only one fucking gun in this game? Every person has this gun.
Okay, that looks like a shotgun or something. Yeah. I really hope this game has as many guns as the first two games. It will. It will. Every time I've hoped for something, it's met my expectations and times ten, dude. Alright, how do we get outside? We have to talk to Amor. Why didn't we talk to him? I'm too stoned for this shit. I smoked a bowl just before making this video, but that's not where the excitement and happiness comes from. That's from the game, dude. Like, I'm stoned all day long for 30 years. Like, that has nothing to do with the weed. Buy medicine. What's F2 do? Oh, I can't hack the computer. Hack stick. This game's so weird. I love it. The first two games are like GTA style, like with Mafia CIA. Dude, look how disgusting that UI pop-up message is. Bro, it covers my whole screen, dude. Okay, we need to fix this game. What the fuck is going on? Why aren't the textures loading? Okay, look, there's weaponry in this game. Look, that's like a sniper rifle, it looks like. Rest is. That must be trouble, that was loud. Hold on. Okay, I'm honestly a little bit sad about the weapons because I've always said this in all my other videos, but I hate space weapons. Like, we've had an eternity on this planet Earth to come up with all sorts of weapon de designs. In fact, we found out which ones are good, which ones suck. We, like, it doesn't matter that just because it's space, we would still have the same guns. Just because Elon Musk sent a spaceship up to, like a SpaceX spaceship up to space doesn't mean that our guns would be magically different. They would probably still look like our guns, but they would like, I don't know, maybe shoot lasers or something? I, I don't fucking know. I just, I just think like, oh man, AK-47s and M16s are so much funner to shoot than fucking gay space guns, man. Oh my god, this is from the second game. Okay, something's wrong with the game. Why isn't texture, why aren't textures loading? It was like rigged in the second game. I never won playing a thousand times. Never won. I don't even think you can win, honestly. It's totally ported from the second game. Alright, so I'm a little bit sad that the textures are having problems. Like, they're just not loading. But this game looks awesome. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Let me outside. We need to go outside. I could probably get 50 quests from this little town. Like, I love this game. Wait, we can't go outside. Look, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of running stamina. In the second game, when you ran out of running stamina, it restores, like, tomorrow. Like, I don't know why, how that works. Th these games were made in a time before common sense, I guess. I still haven't talked to the commandant. I should have. Whoa, look at that. This game's gonna fucking own, dude. Look, is that one for me? Look, there's like a race. Oh, come on. 10% chance, though. And plus, I have quick saving. Ooh, the music, man. God, these guys really fucking do good jobs when it comes to open world games, man. Whoa, look at this. God damn, shut the fuck up. That was sick. This game's got good combat, weighty physics, like, nice headshots. Ew, I hate space guns so much. Give me my Deagle back. Give me my AK. Can I just, like, port the files from the second game and just get my AK back? And my fucking 50 cal sniper rifle. I mean, my AK, uh, SVD. I hate space guns, man. This game's gonna be sick, though. It's just, it's about, it's about the game, man. It's about the game. Look, what is that? What the fuck is that? I bet you, is there a person flying on the back of that? There's a person on the back of it. 
Maybe there isn't. It said that in the second game too, range. Oh, that's because I broke the HDR.txt file so that the game wouldn't have bloom. And it has something to do with the scope ranges. Maybe I shouldn't just delete that file. Maybe I should actually like edit it the right way. But it breaks this binoculars overlay so that you just see a nice square. It's actually it's like nice for taking screenshots and stuff. Because I don't think there's another way to disable the UI for this game. There might be. This is crazy, there's no detail. The second games were just like oozing with detail. I mean this is I mean this is just a, a, a sand planet, that's why. I'm not saying it. I'm just like, it's just different, you know? It's just, wow, it's really different. I like that about these developers. All their games are very, very different from each other. Well, the sec first and the second game are the same, like, um, atmosphere. But um, they still feel different. Like, way different from each other. And this game technically feels like the second game. By feel. And, like, the UI looks like the second game's. But like, it clearly has better graphics. But it feels close to the second game, like feel-wise. But like, they absolutely, completely go above and beyond with making new assets for a new video game. You know what I mean? Like, and examples of companies doing this poorly is Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. They just reuse the same everything, they reuse the same it's even the same starting quest where the thing floating in the water 50 meters away. It's just like, uh, no, you know what I mean? Just no. I'm not, mm, no. What is that? Oh, this is like the alternative to like the cow farms. This game is going to be awesome. This game is going to be fucking awesome. I can't wait to play through it. Dude, I bet you a million bucks this is going to be another 200 hour game I play. Another month. I'm going to be playing this game. I cannot wait. I'm gonna buy vehicles, I'm gonna fucking get my own base. These are games you can live in. Like, literally. Like, it's so sick. They're the best open world games I've ever played. I could just get in a car and probably drive to another town right now. Let's look, actually. Let's do it. God, I hate running out of stamina. That's gonna be one of the first perks I get to increase. In the second game, you can increase movement speed, not sprinting, just movement speed by 50%, and it's literally 50% faster movement, and it's nice. God, these rocks look so much better than the rocks in the second game. Thank God. Bro, this game is sick, dude. Listen to that shit. Look at the eyeball on my fucking knife. It's like Turok. The FAV was 60, I set it to 75, doesn't it look nice? I know from the second game that you can't go above 75. Well, you can. Just It just starts to fish eye. There's like a little tool you can use to actually test it for real. Like, it, it factually starts to fish eye. It's not, it's not an opinion. And you don't want that to happen. Whoa, look at all these bugs. What the fuck, this game? Oh, are they the same bugs from White Gold when you throw the jar? They are. They're the same bees. That's awesome. I discovered that jar like at the very end of the game. You th you throw this jelly jar and like all these bees appear. Whoa, look at that thing. That's like twice the you should have seen the one that landed here. It was higher tech and nicer looking than um Hello Worlds. What the fuck is that game name? Um uh not space engineers. The game with 19 quintillion planets. It's bet it literally looked higher quality than that. What's this ugly black thing sticking out of the engine? What is that disgusting eyesore sticking out of the engine? What is it? What's that game with 19 quintillion planets, man? I I forget that the name of that game more than any game on planet Earth. There's like some sort of reasoning. I, there has to be a reason why I forget the name of that game so much. Like, I always think space engineers or something, and I know that's completely wrong. It's like Outer Worlds or something. No, it's not Outer Worlds. It's like, um... 
And then when I actually think of the, and then when I actually see the name, it's like completely different than what I thought. I, I'm not able to talk about a game and play a game at the same time. It's it's something I can't do. God damn it! Just like the second game, they're just sh talking right in your fucking ear as you're trying to play the game. Shut up! You think I'm gonna read that shit? I'm busy. This is awesome. Well, look at this vacuum cleaner. So how did they release White Gold in 2008 and this in 2009? Are you telling me they make the best games ever made in one year? My father left me a shit. Father left me a ship at the power cells. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with this game? Why are the textures doing that? Maybe when I use DX Wrapper, it'll resolve itself. DX Wrapper ignores a game's DLLs and use the latest and greatest Windows slash whatever ones exist DLLs. And it improves the performance of every game I've ever used it on. Just like plain and simple. It improves the mouse feel, it improves the smoothness, it improves its ability to be all tabbed, it improves its compatibility with like um, screen recorder and OBS. It's just like the best fucking thing all of all time ever. DirectX wrapper and it's so easy to use. All you need are the two files DirectX wrapper.ini and DirectX wrapper.asi. Put those in the same place as where the game's executable is and then the only other file you need depends on the game and that's stored inside the stub folder. So for a DirectX 9 game you would grab d3d9.dll and then in the um so when those three files you just drag and drop them into the um where the game's executable is you then open um DirectX wrapper.ini and then um you'll see all these settings equals they're all set to zero. You wanna enable D3D9 wrapper equals one and then just launch the game and you'll be and there's also other parameters you could adjust as well, like you could force it into a full screen windowed mode, you could force it into exclusive full screen mode, you could force it into a window, you could override the refresh rate, you could um, disable dual co uh, multi-core so that the game, if it's like a really old game, it's called single proc affinity. Wow, look at this game, dude. literally better than Starfield. Like, I can get in a, a spaceship and fly in the direction of that planet and in like an hour I'll be there. Like, whoa. Damn. They really are good at game developing, these guys. And they made all three of these games with no money. Imagine that we gave these guys money. Imagine they had like Bethesda slash Rockstar games money. They just made this out of pure love for making games. And it's the best game ever made. I am excited because Wesp said that I was talking about I can't wait to play Precursor, Precursors because White Gold is the best game I ever played and he said oh you're gonna love Precursors that's their best game and that's the community patch guy dude I'm so stoked man 200 hours it took me to beat the first game 200 hours it took me to beat the second game and I still want to go back to them I'm not done yet I've been the reason why I'm stoked is because I want to play the next games The first game rivals the storytelling of... It's the best story told in video gaming history. It's just, it's so cool. It's so interesting. Saul Myers, the guy from the 1990s Mummy, the, the evil guy that with the bald head, is looking for his daughter. And, um... She was a, working for a journalist who's like sketchy and like it's like it's in um Realia in the Banana Republic and there's snakes, there's like rats, <laughs> there's so many fish in the water. Bro, I wonder if this game's gonna have sea monsters. Oh my god, please have sea monsters. There's gonna be water in this game too. A lot of it. I'm gonna be landing on planets. I'm gonna be landing on my fucking planet, man. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be fucking landing on planets. Oh look, dude, this is what I'm. S Bro, I bet you a million bucks. You see how these tiles look see-through? I mean, um, 3D. That's called parallax, and um, it looks great. It looks awesome. I love it. I wish they used it more. In the second game, okay, it looks great when it's on, but if you go to a game that supports parallax and turn parallax off, the texture then looks like this garbled, like, disgusting, like an animal digested it and then puked it up. And every texture in the second game looks like that. I think that's what happened with the second game. I think there's supposed to be parallax enabled in the second game. And it says something about parallax in the I and I. It says it's enabled, but it's not. It's simply not. And look, it looks like with the Vital Engine 5, they actually got parallax working. Dude, this is the Vital Engine 5. The last game I was just using was the Vital Engine 3 or 4. Like, that's cool. I can feel it. It, it feels higher quality. It feels smoother. The performance feels... Like, it feels like it has more RAM to access or something. It just feels better. Like, the mouse feels more responsive. The shadows look lower resolution, though. But, um... I'm stoked. Like, I've been in the Vital Engine for the last two months of my life, so now I'm on the latest installment. So this company doesn't exist anymore. Um, they don't make games anymore. Dude. Shut up. I need to turn that help menu off. Ladders. Even that's a big deal. Like, you, like, I don't think Witcher 3 had ladders, did it? Oh no, it did, it did. I think it did. But like, there's a lot of AAA games I'm playing lately that like are missing these just tr time fucking tested old basic features. Oh god damn it! I can't walk around on that. We have to. F this is a good place to test the texture thing. We're gonna use direct texture after. All right. Thanks for watching. This is called the precursors, and I got it for two dollars and thirty-eight cents. I just this. I always Google the name of the game followed by cheap CDK, and then I always just click the first few links and see which one's the best. But those gray market sites are legit. Like I have sixteen pages of order history on um, G2A. I don't use G. Don't use G2A anymore. Don't use G fuck G2A. I'm done with G2A. They sent me like this. 99 cent fee out of nowhere and it said because I hadn't used their I hadn't logged into their website for 180 days Like what? Like something about storing my data and files like bro What are you talking about like my 40 kilobytes of fucking CD keys like what are you talking about like how you don't have any files of mine like and I said this is extortion I said to them please delete my account I said do not charge me 99 cents again just delete my account instead and they actually did all 16 pages of order history gone. Luckily, I redeemed all those keys, and I have them still. But um, now I use Game Evo, G A M I V O. But G2 I still was legit. I mean, all those keys I ever got were legit. They all worked. And um, people act like, oh, dude, you stolen credit cards. Who gives a fuck? I got a real CD key. That's like saying. This butter I got, I'm concerned that fucking it came from a fucking child that didn't get fed enough in fucking Timbuktu. Like what? Like who cares? Every single thing on earth probably has a, an origin of some sort of crime in the in the beginning. You know what I mean? And I, even then, regardless, I still don't think that's the case because PayPal is partnered with them. They wouldn't par uh, partner with a criminal organization. And there's like a lot of um, uh, sponsors for those sites. Like, maybe they just bring in a lot of web traffic. But like, dude, this game engine is smoother. The graphics aren't much better. The textures are better, but like, you could just feel it. It's like, like you, the RAM or something. Like, it just, there's no more stutters. It's just you could tell the game engine's better.
That was kind of abrupt. We can we can turn that off actually. Ugh, what a horrible gun, man. Who my fucking deagle, man, from boiling point? I need to turn those hints off. Whoa, that thing actually looks scary. Look at that thing's face. I want to go over to that other town. Oh shit, I forgot about these guys. I just like punch the dog. See, look, this has low resolution textures. Yeah, these guys aren't the best with textures. I mean, the textured variety is there. It's just that the resolution of the texture itself is just unacceptable, in my opinion. Because, like, there's a certain point when a texture's become... Textures at a low resolution look like a blob. They look distracting. You know what I mean? Like, there's, a, there's like a threshold where you... It's like when you're deciding upon what texture resolution to use, like, there should be, like, a minimum point where you're like, okay, don't go beyond this point because you enter into sh into actually distracting the player range. You know what I mean? Like, at, it needs to be at least 256 times 256. Like, anything below that, no. Like, I think that's what that is. I think that's a 256, 256 texture on a big object, which is too low. I... Like, if all the textures in the game were 512 minimum, I wouldn't have any issues with anything. But, like, they, these developers, they just... They went below the fucking threshold, bitch. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna be busy for the next 400 hours of my life. Okay? The Precursors. I got it for $2.38. You guys are playing Starfield that fakes this stuff, I'm going to play it for real. I'm going to be doing it for real. Bro, Bethesda's pathetic, dude. They're Bethesda, and we get excited about Bethesda, because when Bethesda makes a game, they do it real. They do it better than all the shit that's out there. That's why they're AAA. That's why they're one of the fucking behemoths. So they come along and they make a fake game with fake no travel in space when, the, when there's already games that exist that can do that? They're supposed to, the AAA companies are supposed to be the ones that do the things that make the fucking, all the games that exist look up in awe, you know? Like it's been since the 90s. Nowadays that shit doesn't happen anymore. DICE, all these companies that used to make the fucking big name projects, they're just like making like microtransactions. Like they released Battlefield 2142 like knowing it was only like 20% fucking done. Knowing that they, they just needed money right now. It's almost like you're selling an idea at that point. It's like it's like a Kickstarter project. But it's like illegal, dude. Like it shouldn't be like that. Well, it's not illegal. I mean, they're EI. They get fucking they're probably doing everything legally, but like still, like you know what I mean? It's fucked. All right, thanks for watching.